Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. It's now the evening, um, so it actually looks better in here. And it's nice to actually be close to the camera. I did do a beer review from the shed earlier, at the beer room. And uh, I wasn't close enough to the camera. And uh, so I'm going to have to sort out my uh, where I put it in the shed. I did have an area and you know it was easy to get closer. Something to think about. So tonight's review... And uh, if you're watching this and you haven't seen before, with it 100 subscribers, my thanks from the bottom of my heart to each and every person who subscribes. And and if they do, press that little bell thing. Um, yeah, you know, it's great. You know, even though subscribing and views, you know, they obviously mean something in, in the real world. But to me, the fact that people are watching this might take some notice of what I'm saying. And uh, I don't know if Google, if if YouTube only uh, accepts a review if you watch it all. So if you watch fifty percent of the review, and you think I'm a good reviewer, then yeah, to me that's all that matters, you know. But anyway, so tonight's review is Joe's Joseph Holt Humdinger. Used to be in a bottle the, years ago, and it was a much nicer bottle. For some reason, they've gone for this bland offering. And uh, not the nicest of bottles, to be fair. Uh, so it's a 4.1% volume. It's a golden ale. For some reason, uh, my shelf behind me is full of golden ales. Obviously tells you that I'm not keen on golden ales. Because I've obviously, I've obviously gone through all the best beers first. And what's left is all the beers I'm not really fancying. But there you go. Uh, Humdinger is a refreshing, multi-award-winning winning ale with subtle undertones of honey brewed with a blend of the finest English malt and uh, what does that say Mexican aroma honey and citrus whole hops hmm anyway I had to look there a couple of times to actually read it Mexican I'm thinking where did the Mexican part come from right I've got a cold still so my eyes and face probably aren't 100%. The looks of the camera, I'm blotchy as they come. Whether that shows up in the final video, I've no idea, but I can see it and it's making me paranoid as they come. So, straight away, Great golden colour, massive white head, carbonation through the centre, centre, lacing round the edge. So you know it's got it ticks the boxes on everything so far. Oh, a bready aroma, <sighs> definite bready aroma. Quite refreshing from the off citrus in the in the taste and hops. So, what it says here about the beer: pasteurised bottle, a refreshing summer drink, brewed with a combination of quality English malt. If I sound like I'm half drunk, I'm not. It's just blooming cold. Mexican aroma, honey, and citrus flavoured traditional whole, whole hops to provide a rounded tongue tingling taste. Definitely. Just then, when I when I got that first mouthful, it really tingled the tongue with an exciting aroma. Winner of the spring two thousand, winner of the spring slash summer two thousand and four Tesco beer challenge for large brewers, and that's something for me that isn't done enough these days. Um, when I was at Sainsbury's, we had their beer festival. And it seems like the big companies have just forgot about that. Just recently, uh, Morrison's, by far the best of the big four. Their beer, their beer range is top notch. It's outstanding. But they used to have Halloween beers, Christmas beers, Valentine's beers. None. Nothing. Probably one beer. Then they used to have 10 or 11, you know. Very sad, sad days, especially in the, in this time and age where 
there are so many beer producers across the country there's no need for us not to have special beers and for each of the big four and even the our likes of Aldi and Little to support more of the smaller breweries I know they put a squeeze on the breweries to get them out for a price that maybe hurts them little breweries but it gets their names out into the community they may take a hit in that short term long term if your beers are selling massively you're going to earn probably on them on them bottles where you sell them you're going to earn x amount but when you sell them when the money starts coming in you'll be earning a much bigger triple x amount per bottle anyway so first review 2.7 it's not the greatest review pleasant enough but a bit dull copper brown with a little honey on the nose some fruit on the palate and a slight and unexpected sourness on the finish re-rate no sourness this time but a slightly oversweet edge instead another review 2.9 pretty standard gold nail the touch of honey works well enough but it had it with a curry and it was a decent compliment a couple of negative reviews right 3.4 out of 5 appearance clear amber with two finger thick ivory f head aroma note of honey biscuit hay and pepper taste medium sweetness low bitter and sourness so not the greatest reviews to be fair definite bread I'm getting and tea this years ago and it didn't taste like this I'm sure it didn't um, there's a little honey there but it tastes like bread and tea <laughs> you know I don't want to I Try not to be, you know, any good reviewer and any good, you know, vlogger, whatever, you look at the positive side. And, uh, I mean, this fella's got a, is this an award winning beer? It's got a gold at the World Beer Awards. Which means that. You know, some judges obviously found it to be an amazing beer. Okay, um, I'm not quite finding what, you know, makes this beer. Um, that special really because oh, if I'm being honest if I didn't know this was a 4.1% 4 4 beer I would have said it was one of them alcohol free jobbies because it tastes uh, the, 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 the majority of alcohol free real ales taste of too much malt the malt makes it taste like tea and bread this tastes just like that. Let me just make sure it's not out of date. No. Bags of date. Oh. So, um, be overly critical before I get down to the last um, bit of the beer now it may have been a bad batch or a batch that wasn't perfect but my taste buds are a little off 
but are not that far off. You know, I've got a cold and uh, some things aren't tasting 100% perfect. But um, yeah, this doesn't taste good at all. Um, I've got, so, you know, the body, golden coloured, uh, white head, uh, initial taste of bread, I thought. Uh, initial aroma of bread and malt. Taste bread, malt, tastes like tea. Um, there was a bit of citrus and a bit of hops. Oh, but not an impressive beer, I'm afraid. I could have sworn I've had this years ago and it tasted great, you know, it was a good beer. Um, right, so, not many times I give out low scores, but I'm afraid this is one of them times. This is a beer that's won a gold award at the World Beer Awards. So, either this beer isn't indicative of the normal beers that, you know, that these produce, it was a bad batch, or... Somebody at the World Bear Awards isn't right. I don't know. You know, I'm only going on what I can drink in front of me. So, out of five. It wasn't that great. Um, not many times do I give out low scores. But this is one of those times. I'm going to give this a 3.0 out of 5. There's no way on God's green earth that's getting a higher score than that. It didn't taste that great. The aroma wasn't nice. It was not the sort of thing I want to smell from a beer. The taste just wasn't there. You know, I gave it. I, I put the old bottle in because I wanted it to get better. I could see. I know where the award, the awards are. I certainly won't be emailing their website telling them I've reviewed your beer. Because for me, three is a low score for 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 any beer. But I'm afraid that beer just doesn't hit the mark for me very disappointing can't win them all I can only see it as I said you know as, I, as it comes in front of me and I will not be trying it again thanks for watching see you soon